folks, that fix it guy here. And a little while back, I was over at my friend's house. I did a basket strainer replacement for him. I'll put a link in the description box below. You guys can check that out if you'd like. But he said he's got something funky going on with it. So I'm going to take you through my troubleshooting journey today. And I'm going to show you this weird thing that I found. So come along. Let's get to fixing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice in this sink is that check that out. They've got a rubber band. That is the way that they're keeping this up. He said, man, we have to keep this up or else when you use this as the strainer itself and you run water through it, eventually this thing closes and stops up. I said, there is no way, dude. Like I have this at home. I don't see how it would do that. But I said, okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pop this rubber band off. We're going to put this back down in here and we're just going to fill it up. Okay, so uh, we've got this filled up about a third of the way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this twist and seal. Let's just zoom in. And you just turn it counterclockwise to open it up. And we'll just open it the whole way. So you want to, so we ran it one time and look at that. It seems totally fine, right? Seems totally fine. Now let's just leave it like this. Start running it and just see what happens. We run it like this. We run it for a while. So let's fill it again. Let's just dump it right here and see what we got. We'll leave the water running. We're just trying to do some different tests with it. See what we can get out of it. I mean, it, it seems to be draining pretty good, right? I'm not seeing any kind of issue with this. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so I think I found the issue. If this thing gets bumped just the littlest bit, you can watch it move. It's actually closing right now. And then it starts to fill up. So weird. So I mean, I guess if you get a bunch of debris, I guess if you would get some food or something stuck in there, it would eventually just shut and then it starts filling up. That is weird. And it's just the littlest nuisance, right?
Man. So weird. And then all of a sudden it's closed and your sink is filling up with water. Well, I think Keeney has made an effective part because that does not make any sense to me at all. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna sit there and try to figure out exactly where it is and you just watch it, it's like slowly turning as the water goes down there. And eventually it's just gonna stop up, it's so weird. <laughs> okay, if I'm annoyed at doing this for like an hour, trying to get this thing to do its thing in a perfect little storm, then I know somebody else is. These guys obviously were, they put a rubber band on it. <laughs> it was a good little fix, right? They shouldn't have to though. Keeney, we might need a little help on this one. All right, I really hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the video. I don't necessarily know that you wanna buy this product. That is a weird storm, right? This is the troubleshooting process. This is what plumbers face sometimes when they come to your house. It can be super annoying. It can be very timely. It can cost you a bunch of money and it sucks, but this is real scenario. These are the kind of things that service plumbers get called out for all the time. So maybe this is something that you're dealing with. You're like, man, I don't know why it's done this. Well, maybe this video helps you. I really hope it does. We're just trying to help people. I ran across this weird situation, so I said, let's pull out the camera. I really hope the video helps. If you guys could please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. We really are just trying to help. Um, social media is a great way to do that, and we'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.